Bradley County Bar Association hosted Tennessee Supreme Court Justice Sharon Lee on Monday at the Bradley County Courthouse to speak about the upcoming election. Well, I've been going all over the state and it is very uh, refreshing and, and just feels great to get the positive response that we're getting. I mean, I've hit a lot of uh, county seats, visit a lot of courthouses, uh, senior citizen centers, just any place where people gather and people seem very uh, receptive and very, uh, very glad to see me, very glad that we're campaigning, and they seem very committed to keeping our courts fair and impartial. Commenting on campaign challenges, Justice Lee spoke candidly about the effect of out-of-state money playing a role in the process. I think just trying to compete with the large amount of out-of-state money that's coming into Tennessee to try to replace us, uh, but again, I, I think I trust the voters to do the right thing and make the right decision despite all the negative publicity and the big money that's coming in. Uh, and, and you have to wonder why they would do that, what would be their motive, and I, and I, don't, I can't speak to that. Uh, but I think people here understand, Tennesseans, we're independent, uh, we're smart, and uh, we don't want anybody telling us what to do. Uh, so I, I feel good about how this is going to turn out and that the voters will see through it and make the right decision. On top of outside challenges, voter misconceptions regarding Obamacare has also played a role. I had four flowers in my belt ball box when I got home Friday night, and uh, they were accusing me of not stopping Obamacare. Well, Obamacare, as you know, is a federal law, and the federal courts rule on Obamacare. The Tennessee Supreme Court doesn't rule on Obamacare, has not, will not. That's just not a state issue. So to say that we didn't stop Obamacare is just, uh, it's just not true. Because of some of the things that's happened and some of the ads that have been on TV, some of the statements made, I think it's important to learn the issues, understand what's involved, and personally I would encourage everyone to go out and vote and vote to retain every one of the Supreme Court justices that are up for retention this time. Now that actually amendment is on the November ballot and it is important to vote because if you don't vote that's considered a no vote. Uh, so if you have an opinion on it, and you should by, by November, research it, think about it. But it will resolve the um, confusion or uncertainty or dissatisfaction with our constitutional provision regarding retention of appellate judges. It is an important amendment, um, and I, I hope everybody does cast a vote in that election. This has been a WTMB update.